I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. Um, I've been trying to get myself together and like put on a bit more makeup and fix my hair a bit better for this video. But you know what? There is no opportune time as a mom, especially Matt is out and about today. I, I don't know what she's laughing at. <laughs> Matt's out and about today. And so this is as good a time as ever. Um, this is real life. This is, this is how most of my days look. It's just on the go. Everything is on the go. And so Eva is eating lunch. Miss Eva, what are you having for lunch today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's having some pizza. There's some extra bonus cheese, green beans, and oranges. Pretty good? Ooh, where's your water? Where's your water? You want some water? She usually, well her, this is the sign, um, but she does this. It's still cute either way. You want some water? <laughs> her little pigtails. I just can't. Just the cutest thing ever. You really are. It's crazy. I made you. Um, okay, so I am having a super simple lunch. Let me set the camera down so I can show you guys. Um, and this is how most of our meals look. They're very, very simple. They don't require a lot of prep because we don't have a lot of time. Um, we usually batch cook meats. So Matt, at the beginning of the week, Matt will cook a bunch of lean ground beef and a bunch of 99% lean turkey. We've got a bunch of eggs from our friends here in town. We, um, I also have egg whites in case I need extra protein throughout the week. This today is just four ounces of turkey, a can of green beans, or almost a can, I split it with Eva, and then some of the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice Jasmine. Seriously takes like, literally just microwaving it. <laughs> and then I put on top of it this seasoning, which these are popcorn seasonings. They've got all different flavors. White cheddar and ranch are my favorite. I put these on meals. They are, again, popcorn seasonings, but I highly recommend you guys use these for seasoning your food because they're really good. They've also got some savory or sweet ones like caramel, um, kettle corn. I think I've seen like a, maybe a chocolate one or something. And those are really good in, in sweet things like oatmeal. I'll sprinkle some in my coffee. Um, so highly recommend these. And I don't even worry about calories because it's literally two calories for every serving. It's just not like there's no point in measuring this out unless you're pouring half the container on your stuff, which you don't do. Um, so yeah, super simple lunch. And <clears throat> I wanted to just kind of chat with you guys today about one, some of the delicious and fun goodies that we found at Target yesterday. And two, how I work these fun foods into my goals. Now I'm still making progress. I still have goals of, of, improving my health, of, of losing a little bit of body fat, I'm not going to lie, and improving my performance in the gym. So maintaining a healthy balance with food while still enjoying treats is key for me at this time because one, I want to stay on track, but two, I don't want to miss out on some of the fun stuff from the holidays. We're going to my parents this weekend. <laughs> We're going to my parents this weekend and she first question that my mom asked was, what do you want me to bake? She always bakes good stuff for us, so I want to make sure and leave myself some room so I can enjoy some of that stuff. So first, let me show you what we got at Target. Okay, so I know it's not, I, I just literally kind of threw everything on the counter. One, this isn't something you eat, but it's a shirt that Eva got because she needs to be just as Christmassy as I am. So super sweet little shirt for the lump. Yeah, well you have dirty hands. You got, even though I need to wash this, you got dirty hands. So we're just going to set that with Mama's Christmas stuff. Um, this decaf instant coffee, it's not anything seasonal, but I love coffee. I don't need a whole lot more caffeine, more than I already eat and drink. Um, eat? Can you eat caffeine? 
I have caffeine in my pre-workout. I have caffeine in my daily morning coffee. Um, so I got some of this to just kind of blend up with my little hand blender right there. Um, if I'm wanting coffee later in the day and I want something sweet and fun with my fun creamers, but I don't want more caffeine. So that's just something random. Um, we got this new Dunkin' flavor coffee, Polar Peppermint, speaking of coffee. Speaking of coffee, I found this almond milk creamer nog flavor. I know it's almond milk, so technically it's not actual egg nog, but of course it's flavored like it. Um, two carbs per tablespoon, and that's it. 10 calories per tablespoon, if not really focusing. Um, but that's not too shabby. Um, I have not tried it yet. I will keep you guys updated on how it tastes. Hopefully it's good. Um, I did open it and the consistency is really, really thick and creamy, which is nice. So, and it smells really good. So we will see. And this reduced calorie hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate, but I don't like to have all of the extra sugar and calories in hot chocolate. So I'll either make my own with some cocoa and stevia, or I'll get these lower calorie flavors, um, six carbs and three grams of protein per envelope. Not bad, right Eva, right. Um, and actually if you kind of mix these together, pretty good. Hot cocoa Hershey Kisses. I have already tried these and they are delicious. Um, also these, we got into these last night, dark chocolate peppermint bark, delicious, <laughs> like so good. Um, so those are just some fun holiday things. And then these items I normally have on a weekly basis, lower sugar oatmeal, same thing with the hot chocolate. I don't want a ton of extra sugar and calories in my oatmeal if I can have it for, have it taste just as good for lower sugar, 35% less sugar. Um, so I always get these whenever I need instant oatmeal. I, I like the regular oatmeal, but instant's just quick and it's super convenient. So it's like when we're going to my parents' house this weekend, I'll take several packets of these um, for breakfast or extra snacks if I need them. And then I'll throw some protein powder in them for a high protein balanced meal. Kodiak cakes, dark chocolate, blackjack and waffle mix. This stuff is so good. Every night I have, like most nights, I have a mug cake and I'll do one serving of this. It's got 14 grams of protein. And then I will also mix in lately, I have been loving my pumpkin spice latte protein, although this is sadly sold out. I have a feeling that they are gonna be coming out with their peppermint bark protein very, very soon. So I'm really yeah. excited for that. Um, that excited. Yeah, that excited. Uh, I'm gonna try to hurry because I know she's about done. But yeah, this is just something that I always have. You can get it at Target. They have it at HEB, which is our local grocery store. They should have it at most bigger grocery stores. Um, you'll find it in like the pancake mix section. Really, really, really highly recommend. Okay, so a quick change of, of outfit. Eva's done eating. And um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is how I make treats like those that I showed y'all fit into my goals while still working towards my goals of better health, fat loss, muscle growth, things of that sort. So I follow what is known as flexible dieting lifestyle. This is where you track your proteins, your carbs, your fats. Every single day you have a set goal that you wanna hit and you are free to eat what you want within those parameters. And this approach has been life-changing for me because I used to be the type of person that struggled with the all or nothing mindset when it came to food. I thought that I had to follow a list of certain foods that were deemed clean or healthy. You know, the, the like typical foods that you think are, are clean foods. Um, and I had to stay away from all the bad stuff. And so following a super restrictive mindset in that way led me to binge on the weekends on foods that were off limits. Um, cookie, can cookies, candies, cereal even. I would sit and eat literal boxes of cereal in one sitting. Um, I would eat until I was sick and then Monday would roll around and I would feel guilty. I would feel like I fell off the wagon. I would feel frustrated. 
And then I would spend the next week trying to punish myself in the gym, restricting my foods even more, um, and just over and over and over. So I found that being more flexible and practicing actual balance and moderation in my diet has helped me to be able to enjoy things like one or two Hershey Kisses. I fit them into my daily protein carb fackle and I move on with life and it's literally that simple. And so when it comes to the holidays, how I plan to approach things is for the majority of the time, I will be continuing to follow my protein, carb, and fat goals. I will be aiming for those. And then on special occasions, I will enjoy the day. Literally like Thanksgiving day, I enjoy the day, I eat what I want, and I move on. The day after Thanksgiving, I pick right back up with my protein, carb, and fat goals like nothing happened. And so it it's really just about balance. But balance isn't sexy. Balance doesn't sell because it doesn't produce super quick results. Now the results that you'll make will be sustainable and they'll be consistent, but you won't see 30 pounds lost in 10 days. 99.9% um, .9 of people won't see that. And so what I preach to my clients, my fitness clients, what I preach on social media to people far and wide, whoever will read my posts, is balance and just finding a maintainable and sustainable approach that you can stick with. If you can't find yourself, if you can't see yourself sticking with your current diet, nutrition, workouts for the next 6, 12, 18 months and beyond, then it might be time to shift your mindset and make small tweaks to where it is something you can sustain. Um, and there'll be times where you can push harder. You know, there are times when, like right now, I'm, I'm a bit more honed in on my goals and then there'll be times where you kind of back off and you might not be as consistent but the lifestyle and the approach is still there and so this is how i fit in treats into my daily macros it's something called flexible dieting if you guys ever have any questions i would love to answer them in the comments i do offer one-on-one -on -one custom coaching all of the information is in the links below um but that's it I will continue to chat with you guys about my own health and fitness journey. If there are any topics that y'all would like to hear me talk about, please, please, please comment below um, because I really, really appreciate your feedback when it comes to the channel um, and topics that you guys want to hear about. So let me know in the comments below. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning into today's video. Make sure and hit the thumbs up if you did find it helpful and we will see you on Tuesday. All right. Have fun out there. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.